as far as fatty liver, what does that mean for me? Uh, fatty liver is an illness of being heavy. In other words, if you're obese, it's not surprising that you have fat on your tummy mm -hmm. and fat in your chest and fat on your hips and fat in your liver. It turns out, though, that just like the fat in other places, it has some danger mm -hmm. because it can progress to cirrhosis and rarely to right. death. Mm -hmm. The good news about our surgery is we usually reverse that. We take care of, we fix the fatty liver. Mm -hmm. But there's a trick to it. Fixing the fatty liver stresses the liver. And as it stresses the liver, we don't want to hurt it anymore because we could really bother it. So you may remember from the manual, we tell you to avoid alcohol and Tylenol. And the reason is we don't want to hurt the liver anymore. But we expect that we will fix your liver with the surgery. But by fixing it, we're going to stress it a little bit. Okay. Other questions? Everything looked great in there. Your liver has some evidence that it used to have some fatty liver in it, but not a bit anymore. Oh, yeah. well, that's yeah. perfect what you said, they reversed the reverse itself. Four years ago, that's the first thing you told us she had a fatty liver when she did the surgery. No, it's gone. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. My favorite story, it's kind of embarrassing for me, is I was operating on a guy who, the first time I operated on him, his liver was so bad, it was called cirrhotic. It had cirrhosis in it. And instead of looking like, have you ever seen liver at the grocery store? It's that reddish brown. His looked more like uh, mm -hmm. nutmeg tan. And instead of looking like a liver, it looked more like a sack of marbles in a net. Because it's so damaged by the scar tissue and the death of the liver tissue in between. Excuse me. So uh, we could not do the whole surgery for him at the first surgery because too much of a bypass with that kind of liver can lead to liver failure and death. So we did just a little surgery for the first time, and two years later he came back to have more. Uh, his, he had heart disease, high cholesterol, sleep apnea, diabetes, and all those things got better. Then his doctor looked at his liver, that got better, and he came back for a second surgery. So he came in, and I put my ports in, and I looked at his liver, and what I was taught in medical school is you cannot make cirrhosis better. You can stop it from getting worse, but you can't make it better. And when I looked at his liver, it looked almost normal. Well, I was just jumping up and down in the operating room and said, look at that liver. That is a great liver. And so, you know, I have a nurse or two with me and an anesthesiologist. And the first couple of times I said, yeah, great liver. And I'm going, that is great. I mean, he has a great liver. You know, they're going, okay, we get it. Nice liver. How about if we get on with the surgery? You know, but I can't believe it because he had cirrhosis. So, no, but it's real exciting to see that. And uh, it... It can progress to cirrhosis and even death, and all of you, by your surgery, that is not going to be in your future. And your liver shows it.